Stocks seem to have recovered from inflation scares at this point, but the duration risk is there when it comes to the gearing and the leverage ratio surrounding these companies. Yeah, so you can look at the overall market and say, OK, we've recovered from these inflation scares. Everything looks fine. Of course, I'm a little biased, but I think you need to look at the markets like the quants do. And that is looking at a very concentrated portfolio of leveraged companies, which is what I did. So I brought this chart with me. Essentially, it's a portfolio that goes long companies with the most leverage and shorts ones with the least. So here what you're doing is you're hedging out the greater market movements, because usually these stocks will move with how the market is going, right. but by building it long short, it's very concentrated. So this is now its fifth consecutive quarter of declines, and that's the worst since 2009. And this has been happening over the past 12 months. Uh, you can see that leading into 2016, we had similar uh, sharper losses actually then, and that's heading into the first rate hike. So these are stocks saying not necessarily that rates are really high right now, but we're expecting rates to go higher Discounting. exactly and so because of that we're punishing these stocks and you can again see that with this really concentrated quant like view so how many uh, i mean i'm assuming the, the exposure goes down um, with this chart but how many quants are exposed to this kind of leverage so what happens in, in a quantitative portfolio, usually leverage isn't a standalone bet. There is some academic theory about why you'd want to invest in companies that have taken on leverage. Uh, one of them is just uh, higher risk, higher reward. Uh, investors usually tend to shun leverage, and because of that, they underprice it. But typically what a quant will do is take this type of portfolio and use it as a signal in a bigger uh, multi-factor one. But what also happens is just as a discretion investor, sometimes you're unintentionally exposed to this risk because it does get tend, it tends to get masked by broader movements in the market. So a lot of investors might be having this leverage risk here, uh, being exposed to interest rate risk and not quite realize it because, again, we've had these steady gains in the stock market and most indexes will not show you that there is this building tension here.